What is a rainbow? Have you ever seen a rainbow after a big rainstorm? Have you ever wondered where rainbows come from and how they are formed? Well, today is your lucky day. And not because there's a leprechaun waiting at the end of the rainbow with a pot of gold. Instead, we are going to learn the real secret about what makes a rainbow and whether or not they really have an end. Let's get started. There are many kinds of light that can be seen in the sky. The sun is one of the brightest lights. The sun gives off light, heat, and energy for plants and animals. In the night sky, you can see thousands of stars, which all give off light, just like the sun. But these stars are too far away to give us the same amount of light as the sun. The moon can also light up the night sky. The moon shines because it reflects light from the sun. Without the sun, you would not be able to see the moon. Sometimes, light goes into objects, and the light rays bend as they pass through it. This is called refraction. Rainbows form when sunlight passes through water droplets in the sky. The light bends, or refracts, through the object, and then reflects that light to you which allows you to see all the colors of a rainbow. This means that in order for a rainbow to form, there must be raindrops and sunshine. But there is a third part of the equation that needs to be added in order for a rainbow to be seen. Any guesses as to what that is? It is you. You have to stand between the sun and the rain in order to see the brilliant colors of a rainbow. Here is an interesting fact. When the sun shines, the light appears white, but this white light is actually made up of seven different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Seriously, it is true. When that white sunlight passes through raindrops and refracts, all of the different colors of light are banded into separate colors. And all of these colors are what you see reflected back to you when you look at a rainbow. The colors of a rainbow always appear in the same exact order. And guess what? There is a cool trick to help. This is Roy G. Biv. We use his name to remember the order of the rainbow. Can you say, hi, Roy G. Biv? Let's take each letter of Roy's name to create rainbow order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Because they are made of light, rainbows cannot be touched. and. They move when you move. Every person who views the same rainbow will see a slightly different version of it, which means that rainbows are also an optical illusion. Amazing fact! Rainbows can occur at night, but only rarely. This happens when the light of the moon refracts through raindrops and is called a moonbow. Pretty amazing, right? When you see a rainbow, what shape does it usually look like? Most of the time, rainbows look like an arch or half circle. Here is an interesting fact. If the sun is lower in the sky, the arc or arch of the rainbow will be higher. If the sun is higher in the sky, the arc of the rainbow will be lower. Guess what? Sometimes rainbows can appear as a whole circle. You just have to be high enough in the sky to see it, like if you are riding in an airplane. In fact, 
all rainbows are actually circular in shape, even when they do not appear that way from the ground, which means that rainbows have no beginning or end. Sorry, leprechauns. Guess you will have to find your gold somewhere else. Double rainbows can happen when sunlight is reflected twice inside a raindrop. Here is something interesting about double rainbows. The colors of the first rainbow will appear as usual, but the second rainbow's colors will be in reverse order. Whoa! Finally, the unicorn of all the rainbows is an upside-down rainbow, which is super rare. This kind of rainbow has nothing to do with rain. Instead, it happens when sunlight shines through a thin, visible screen of tiny ice crystals high in the sky. Have you ever seen an upside-down rainbow? That would be an awesome sight to see. Here is an interesting fact. The first person to scientifically explain how a rainbow forms was a scientist named Sir Isaac Newton. You may have heard his name before, especially if you have learned about the law of gravity. But rainbows might be a little more exciting than an apple falling from a tree. It is experiment time. You, yes, you, can make your own rainbow. Here is how. On a sunny day, go outside and stand with the sun behind you. With permission from an adult, use a garden hose to spray water in a mist towards your shadow. Keep changing the level that you are holding the hose until you see a rainbow. Nice work. Now, let's quickly review what we have learned today. True or false? Rainbows are made of light. True. What is the correct color order of a rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Fill in the blank. A blank is a rare type of rainbow that happens at night. Moonbow. Great job, radical rainbow representatives. Rainbows are a cool scientific phenomenon that are a result of sunlight, raindrops, and you. The next time you go outside after a rainstorm, see if you can figure out whether or not the conditions are perfect for a rainbow to appear. And do not forget to keep your eyes on the sky. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.